Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another week in my life. So as usual, we're starting on Monday. This is actually a few hours into Monday. And as you can see, I'm walking Bali and Java. This is Java, by the way. I was walking Bali first because I don't walk them together. So if you've been around here for a long time, you'll know that I'm a master's student at UCL, but I'm essentially studying from home because it's online. My whole course is now going to be online, so I won't be going into London. But as usual, I started off my Monday doing some of our pre-recorded lectures and these were on CAR T cells. I'm doing the cancer masters at UCL. This Monday evening, my ears are so red right now. I'm just about to have a shower, but I thought we would gather together to have a little rundown of what's happened. I have been up for a very long time today. Like I woke up and got out of bed at 6 a.m. because I followed a morning routine. As part of that routine, I put on makeup. That's why I'm like removing it right now with um, Makeup wipes, don't tell Emily, she tells me not to use these things, but they're just convenient. I also curled my hair this morning, but you wouldn't believe it now because it's just been up in a ponytail for the rest of the day because I've been working and speaking of work, we have a big block of car T-cell lectures to go through this week. So I did the second set and I have one more set to do tomorrow. There are like nine mini lectures in total and I've done six out of the nine now. So the first two parts. I've done lots of admin stuff because it's Monday and Monday is often heavy heavy on the emails and then I've just done some editing this evening so yeah. I end up making my face and my eyes so red because I wipe so hard but it still just doesn't come off like the mascara clings to my eyelashes and that's not even a joke. I will probably see you tomorrow with panda eyes. Okay so somebody needs to tell me that mascara clings to their eyelashes like it does with me i honestly cannot get it off but anyway tuesday the weather was so nice today we were at my desk at about 7 a.m and i was just filling out my bullet journal for the week just adding any extra things as i said yesterday i was going through lectures on car t cells and we had a lot of lectures on car t cells so i was going through those this morning as well and then obviously milka had to join me at some point you know she was just telling me that i shouldn't be doing any more work she is uh, my number one distraction as we know milka does this thing with my dressing gown where she'll just sit here and claw it look show them what you do she'll just claw at it like this oh those claws you keep cushy cushy okay very affectionate this morning I actually don't think I had panda eyes this morning, which is so good. After my shower, I had to rewash my face. But this morning, oh my gosh, I'm sitting here right now with the window open and I'm just listening to the birds. It's actually such a sunny day. I have to close my blinds because otherwise it's just like too bright and I can't see anything on the screen. I want to make the most of this weather, so I'm gonna get out on a run today because i think it's gonna be raining for the next few days my forecast by the way was actually correct and so i definitely wanted to make the most of this weather as i said it was such a nice day like optimal weather conditions for running so it was just a quick run today because i had a tutorial at 11 and so i wanted to be back in time so i could do everything beforehand we've written like abstracts and stuff based on a paper we read and we have to read them out and stuff in this tutorial so, so yeah i hope i'm on mute holly have, can you see a share screen option at the moment yeah i can join to try doing mine yeah please okay so i had to read out my abstract and basically the exercise for this tutorial was really interesting i really enjoyed doing it we had to read a paper but not look at the abstract because it was then down to us to make our own abstract so write it ourselves and we were also practicing writing for lay audiences as well so it was just like a really good and useful exercise because these are all skills that are very valuable i have finally finished all of the nine lectures on car t cells and this document is like 30 pages well 29 just about car t cells but it covers like nine lectures so yeah let's save that so we don't lose it on the topic of like biology and science i was basically here just editing my biology video where i shared some really interesting biology stuff for basically anyone to watch and a bit later on that evening mo and i were continuing to watch spinning out on netflix which is really really good i am just finishing off this almond butter because there's like not much left we are gonna scrape this until it is all gone i swear last year i said that i preferred peanut butter 
to almond butter. Times have changed. Almond butter is so much better. This is the almond butter from Aldi. It's just so good. I will lick and scrape until there is nothing left. Does anyone else do this? So I feel like we need to vote. Like, is it almond butter? Is it peanut butter? As I said, I prefer almond butter, but you guys need to let me know your thoughts. Anyway, later on that evening, for the rest of that evening, I should say, I was just working on my next assignment. So this is a poster presentation. I'm getting kind of ahead of myself this week. I thought it was like Thursday, but it's actually Wednesday. So yeah, it is Wednesday. It's Wednesday evening. I haven't vlogged today just because a few things had to be changed around in terms of like scheduling stuff. But yeah, essentially it's been a miserable day. Like the rain has come. It's basically like typical UK weather. The UK does this every single year. It will tempt you with a bit of spring weather and then it turns to this like cold, windy, rainy, drizzly, miserable, grey skies, grey clouds. You get the point, like you get the picture. That is what we have right now. But anyway, so I today, what have I been doing? I finished editing a whole video. I edited a whole video in fact, which is good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to work on my assessment, which I just wanted to talk to you guys about. But mum and I have just finished watching the second to last, the penultimate episode of Spinning Out. I thought we were on the last episode, but we're gonna finish it probably tomorrow or something and then we will give you a review because yeah I don't know how it's gonna finish I say this every time but genuinely there are so many things going on in this series and I'm like whoa whoa like I just don't even know how it's gonna finish now we're gonna talk about my assessment which I'm gonna work on for the rest of the evening so this assessment that I'm currently working on is for my research proposal module which is quite a short module we have like one assessment that forms 100% of our grade and we have to like create a poster and then we do a presentation alongside to like present the poster. I've already like been working on it and I've done quite a bit of my research and my reading for it. I just need to start like pulling everything together and actually making the poster. Kind of feels like I'm in secondary school making a poster again. In terms of what it's on, so we have been given like a brief as we get every time. We basically have to present a potential cancer biomarker. So biomarkers are things you can measure and they tell you certain information. So for example, diagnostic biomarkers, they help you diagnose a disease in this case like cancer or they can be predictive biomarkers, which kind of predict the response to a certain treatment. There are loads of different types basically, but we have to choose a potential future biomarker that is not in clinical use, but there's kind of like evidence for it. So that's kind of what we're doing. I, yeah, so as I said, I've kind of like done a lot of my reading and I've found the biomarker. I just need to like start pulling it together. I need to design my poster. So yeah, it's not due until like the 21st of March or something off the top of my head. That's what we're going to work on for the rest of the evening. Okay, that's what I was doing yesterday as well. So the plan of action basically for the evening I firstly was going through my notes. I was just organizing them, condensing them and making sure I knew what I wanted to put on the poster itself. And then with that complete, I basically planned my poster using an A4 sheet of paper. The poster itself was supposed to be A3. And I mean, that wasn't a problem because I could just easily scale things up. But what I did do a bit wrong was I planned it portrait and it was supposed to be landscape. You know, I just, I just really didn't think that one through. Can you hear that? So Milka used to be obsessed with you and your room. I think she still is, let's just make that clear. She still is, but... But then ever since Holly went to Australia and then you left her for like how many months? I basically abandoned her. Mm, Milka had developed a very strong attachment to me. I am her plan B. I am her backup. When yeah. Emily's not available, like in meetings, then she's like, okay, I'll go to Holly's room. Yeah. It's quite rude. No, there is also <laughs> another There is also another explanation. See, look, she's not happy here. <laughs> she's like looking at me like, take me back. <laughs> no, but it's also because when Burley, mm. when Burley went, yeah, she was really quite affected by that. And then I left kind of at the same time. Well, yeah, she was left with the two dogs. Yeah, and so she's never forgiven me, have you? Oh, should we ask them that question that I asked you this morning? I love would you rather's. Would, would you, you rather, rather never have hot showers for the rest of your life or never sleep in, in a bed? bed. You so don't yeah. sleep on the floor. Yeah. And I said I'd prefer to sleep on the floor. And I said I'd prefer to have a bed, not hot showers. <laughs> I don't know, comment down below which you would rather. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It won't zoom so often though, oh it does. You can see, yeah. it looks so much worse in person, but she just comes here and dumps her hair. Look at her go, like look at that cat cleaning action though. If you're thinking about getting a cat, you know, you can come to us for advice. 
Um, <laughs> Milka, <laughs> she like pulls out her dead claws. I swear she doesn't. She does, and she that. leaves them on my desk. I've never seen her do that. You've never seen her do that? Well, she also never does it in my room, because my room is not a wasteful space. Emily, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm out of it now, right. These socks, right, we just need to appreciate how bright they are. They're just like the brightest things. I kind of love it and hate it at the same time. You see, avo, great day, with a little cute smiling avocado. I don't know what color you would call this. They're just really weird. I mean, is it blue? Is it green? Is it somewhere in between? I have no idea. Anyway, Thursday, hello Thursday. I was continuing to plan my poster. So at this point, I still didn't realize that I was gonna do a landscape, but I continued to fill it in anyway. And then I just wanted to show you what I had for my lunch this day or my second meal of the day. I basically cut up a load of salad. I had some leftover brown rice because I always meal prep this. I added edamame and all the salad that I chopped up, mixed it all around a bit and made this kind of tahini dressing. I just like to make things simply. Nothing is ever complex with food but it still tastes so good and i mean with bowls like this you can add anything so i added some pumpkin seeds as well and some sweet potato that i just boiled in a pan and like you just have this bowl of the rainbow and it's just the best thing i almost blew the kitchen up and i am not even joking the microwave had smoke coming out of it i genuinely thought it was gonna blow up and the whole kitchen was gonna like set on fire and oh my gosh basically i tried to like microwave a sweet potato to just do it quickly but like it literally burnt inside the microwave matthew just came downstairs and was like oh my gosh holly what have you done because it smells so bad right now i've tried to open the door to like let the smell out i'm not even joking it turned black in the microwave so i had to just boil another one but oh my gosh it actually looks okay right now but there was smoke coming out of like this bit and then just like seeping out the top like oh my gosh it was so bad there is clearly something wrong with this microwave okay so i do not plan on moving out anytime soon but blowing up the kitchen is um probably my number one fear anyway moving on swiftly i was back to actually making my post on powerpoint however my final post that as you'll see looked very different to this so what did we just finish out. Oh, actually, we just need to say you worked out that it something in the microwave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it still does smell. Anyway, quick fire review. Can't remember the beginning now. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I thought it was really good. Did yeah, you? Yeah, I, I think I can sort of see a lot of things. I can predict a lot of things better than you, I think, can't I? Really? What are you talking about? Yeah, but you missed the details. I'm like, did oh, you yes. get what you, they said on the phone? And you're like, uh, no. I think together we make a good team. Mum makes the predictions. I tell mum what she did here. Because you're busy yawning. No, it's really good. I thought it was really gripping. Yes. Like every episode ended With on a, a cliffhanger, yes. which obviously they're going to do to make you come back. But I um, would let you just watch more than one at a time. Well, you have to like string it out. Okay, let me ask you three final questions about the series to try and convince people to watch it. It's on Netflix, by the way. Who is your favourite character? Oh, hmm. Dasha. Dasha. <laughs> I like Dasha's cat. Okay, there's a cat in it, so you should definitely watch it. Let's just do who is your least favourite character. Oh, then. I'm not even gonna do that. Oh, um, I'm so sure. predictable. Uh, yeah. Sweeter, I think. Oh, really? Mm. After watching this uh, TV series, are you more inclined or less inclined to try ice skating? If tomorrow I said to you we're going ice skating, would you say definitely not, or would you say 100% yes, I am inspired? Oh no, I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> gonna say it definitely put me off ice skating. That first episode, do you remember yes. what happened? That's yes, oh my no, gosh. <gasps> oh no. If anyone out there who watches my videos ice skates, like, wow. You have guts to do that, and you have a lot of skill. Because yes, they're so. basically dancing on the ice. That's what they're doing, but you know what I mean? like. I was doing more hard. turns than we could possibly do. Yeah, in, like um, they jump and they're like, <laughs> and then they that. suddenly stop themselves. Yeah. You have to have the strongest core to do that. Mm. You imagine? Mm. Well, anyway, that's our review of Spinning Out. That's it, Spinning Out. Oh. Yeah, so what's next? Which series we're hitting? I. Next? <laughs> I'm on Dead to Me at the moment. You have, almost have to see what comes up next with recommendations from because you've watched Spinning Out, because you've watched mm. little, pretty little things. Don't Tiny you, but... pretty things. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what Pretty Little Things is? <laughs> pretty Little Things is an actual thing, Mum. Pretty Little Things? No. Well, it's not actually Pretty Little Things, it's Pretty Little Thing. It's a clothing brand. Oh. I don't oh. think you've got any clothes no. from there. <laughs> I just go for pizza. I just have these pizza. <laughs> I've gone mad. I didn't sleep very well 
outside. It was the wind. Oh yeah, it was really the wind really outside, happy. not the wind inside. <laughs> Mum has um, suddenly changed her mind. I just thought I'd let you know her least favorite character wasn't Serena. It was actually the doctor. Yeah, I realize that won't make sense if you haven't watched it. But if you do watch Spinning Out, let me know. And yeah, anyway, moving back to my poster. So as I said before, I started making it very green, but then I changed it with this kind of like pastel color scheme. Okay, it's Friday today we have three calls today basically i have one coming up now i also want to try and like close all these tabs today i need to finish reading them add any as references for my assessment and stuff but it's basically my uh mission of the day for motivational purposes don't say something is a task or a chore no we have missions, okay? Missions to accomplish. That just sounds way cooler. So we had a uni call that day on Friday and it was basically about dissertation writing. So how we were gonna go about writing dissertations and this would be for our projects. I will obviously fill you in when I have more information about our projects because they won't start until May. And so yeah, that was my first call and then I had a second straight away afterwards. Hello. That is basically how my Friday kind of went. I was on a call and then I was off a call and then I had to jump on another one. But I also basically planned my next week coming up in my bullet journal. I religiously do this. I love it. I do not go a week without doing it and it's like the best thing for me. Mum has made bread um, with the new machine. So this is what you call a loaf of bread. Look at that slice. Oh. This is mum's new bread machine. Yeah. 59.99. 59.99. Yeah, ladies I'm and gentlemen. Dude, that. is it good? Mm, yeah, I love plain bread. Mm, bread mm. This is where we're very different. We like thick bread. Mum doesn't like. I mean, like thick porridge, and mum likes for our name pairing. We like thick bread. What do you, what do you mean? No, like dense. dense. Oh, I see. Mum likes airy furry. This is still kind of dense. This is still right? quite dense, yeah. Oh. We used to have a bread maker. When was it? Ages ago. But it was like not vegan because you used to put like milk powder in it, just like normal mm. powder. Yeah, just skin. Yeah, so this skin is vegan powder. This with is the soy, soy milk powder. powder. Vegan soy <laughs> milk powder. Take the microphone off. I think I can see that. No. No, I'm having my bread. Bali and Java's noses were going crazy when mum was making this bread. But anyway, stay tuned for more bread updates from mum. And then the final thing I essentially worked on on Saturday evening was my poster. I continued to work on that assignment. And yeah, I had a lot of fun making this poster on PowerPoint. And then jumping to Sunday, I started my day editing a video because that was going to be uploaded on this day. And I also had the best start to my day i had mangoes you guys know how much i love mangoes one of them wasn't so good the other the one that you're looking at on the right hand side was so good it was pure gold oh my gosh it was just the best and then apparently i had a lot more editing to do that day so i was editing another video and it was also actually mother's day i just wanted to show you the edible things we got mom mom likes coffee so we got these dark chocolate coffee creams and we also got this this is like a box of like retro sweets that are kind of like accidentally vegan you like chewy things like this yeah, like that or these chewy i won't like those so much Oh, love hearts. No. Well, we had to get you love hearts, mom, because we love you. Rainbow drops. Oh my gosh, I remember those. Oh, yes. And then these like dib and dab things. But anyway, it's kind of like nostalgic. Okay, you can have this when you're watching Netflix, right? That's yes. going to be mom's Netflix treasure box. Something I usually do every other week is clean my room. I mean, if I don't do this on Sunday, I just put it off. I also then got started on some of the lectures for the following week because these are often released early and I just feel super on it if I've gotten a head start. So yeah, that is basically how I finish my Sunday. Hopefully our project titles might come out next week. I thought they'd come out this week, but they haven't. So exciting for next week. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this video. I've been consistently weekly vlogging for a really long time now and I really enjoy doing it. You guys have to let me know if you enjoy these weekly vlogs. Like I just want to bring you along my week. I feel like my weekly vlogs just give you a very accurate representation of what I get up to in my week is obviously not everything but it's nothing more than that really but I hope you guys enjoy these videos on that note I hope you enjoyed it as usual definitely give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe hit the bell I'm hot in this dressing gown now but anyway yeah I will speak to you very soon in another video as always <laughs> bye